everybody so today I'm going to be doing a request um, from one of my friends her name is Sassy Chick 28 and her request was to show how I uh, remove makeup um, I don't use makeup remover per se um, I have really sensitive skin so I like to use um, Pampers um, sensitive wipes and um, as you can see I still have my silver party look um, on that I did earlier today I'll put the link in the sidebar to that video um, I had purchased these cucumber exfoliating cleansing towelettes and um, one side is kind of I'll show you one I don't use them so I don't feel like I'm wasting them anyway because they're all gonna go to waste um, one of the sides is really, really hard. Um, it has like little, um, bumps on it, so you can like, um, exfoliate your face and kind of wash it. And this other side is smooth, like a baby wipe, and, um, this has a makeup remover side, so I really wouldn't recommend if you, um, get these. I use these on my mom when I did her makeup for her wedding to take it off. She doesn't have as sensitive skin as I do. She has semi-sensitive skin. So, um, you could take a look into these. These were purchased at Target. And again, they're called Cucumber Exfoliating Cleansing Towelettes. And they were about, uh, close to $5, I want to say. So, this is really nice. has, like, little exfoliating side and just a regular kind of, like, wipey side over here. And, um... I really can't smell right now, but when I did use them, they smell like cucumber. So, and then they come in like this little, you just pull them out there, and then you close it back up, um, so it doesn't dry out. But if it does dry out, you just open it and add a few drops of water in there and just soak them back up. Um, but so far I've been using these and I'm really happy with them. Um, if you watch Panacee's, I think, 51, I'm not sure, if you watch her video, she says that... If baby wipes are soft enough for a baby's butt, they're soft enough for your face. So, I thought, she's absolutely true. You wouldn't put this on a baby's butt if it wasn't gentle enough. So, I went a step further and got sensitive because I have really sensitive skin. Um, so, I'm just going to basically show you how I remove it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to attach this to the tutorial I'm doing after this. But, um... I just want to show you how easy it is. It really doesn't matter what side it is. Baby wipes are the same. And it just, I mean, it just really removes makeup. Now, for the eyeliner or the mascara, you kind of have to rub it in a little bit. Or you just leave it, you know, soak it in there. What I like to do is I like to, I know my eye looks a mess right now. What I like to do is I like to just wrap it around my finger and pull it taut. So you kind of have, like, your finger in there. And I like to just kind of like I'm curling my lashes and just let it sit there and make sure your eye is closed because it does, it doesn't really, really sting, but kind of. And then just, you know, rub it on out. Um, sometimes I open my eye and I just like I'm applying mascara and just, you know, go back and forth like this. And then it's just, it's just coming all off. Now, another thing that you can do is um, I like to add lotion to my eyes. Um, let it sit and uh, um, take it off with a paper towel, not a paper towel, something softer like um, a bathroom tissue, toilet paper, it all works the same. So this is a really gentle way to take off your makeup. Um, I really like it. So um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just it's really gentle on your eyes. Um, as you can see, my eye did turn red. I mean, there's just nothing I could do about it. I have very sensitive skin. So, uh, you can do that, or I'll go ahead and show you um, my other technique. This is just regular lotion. Um, I just put a little bit, like a little bit like this, um, and just apply that all over to my eye. Concentrating on the um, lash area, if you have mascara and eyeliner, just go ahead and concentrate that on that area. And just kind of just work it and rub it in on the lashes. And just kind of let it sit there for a while. 
Now I know this looks really weird, but you know, you're normally alone when you take off your makeup and you don't feel like a complete nerd and look dorky like this. And so, just go ahead and let it sit and then wipe it away. You can wipe it off using that same wipey if you want. It just kind of helps speed up removing that mascara. Uh, if you don't close your eye tight enough and you kind of have it open, it will burn your eye. Um, but it just kind of helps. And you want to make sure you're being kind of gentle when you're taking it off. You really don't want to rub too hard. You want to, your eye area is very gentle and sensitive, so just kind of, you know, go slowly. But I would say, you know, um, these were two for five when I purchased them. I got them from a grocery store, and they're 64 wipes, so um, I've had them for about a month now, so, um, I mean, they're not... I mean, these were $5, and there's 30 wipes, so, you know, they're not that expensive. And you can even get the generic brands if you go to, like, Walmart or Target. They may have, like, a, a Target or Walmart brand, um, and it, it would even be more cheaper that way, so. Um, that was my requested video on how, to re how I remove my makeup. Now, <clears throat> Max sells a, a makeup remover. I don't know how much it is, but I'm sure it's up there. Um, everything Mac is sort of expensive. Um, who else sends? Um, there's either one by Rimmel or by um, Revlon. I'm not sure who makes it, but um, it's pretty good. I think. I think it's by Rimmel. I don't know why I can never remember. Um, but you want to make sure every time you, um, take off your makeup, I'll show you the ta the, the little white bee. Every time you remove your makeup, you want to make sure that you're not just removing makeup and going to bed. You want to remove your makeup and then wash your face. <coughs> um, one side, I try to, um, keep, like, this one side, I'll do face makeup all on this side. Then I'll flip it over, and then after I take off my face makeup, I'll go over the whole thing again and do my whole face. But you want to make sure you're not putting all your mascara and eyeliner back onto your face. So you do one side, and then on the other side, just go ahead and do your whole face. Or if you want to do your whole face first, and then do mascara and eyeliner, that's fine. But just make sure you're not putting that black stuff into your pores, because you may get like blackheads or something like that. So... Um, that is my makeup removal tips, um, you know, lotion kind of, you know, if your eyes are not closed, it still kind of burns. The best way i found is just, um, doing these, and if you find that they're not moist enough, if you just add a little bit of water, that kind of moistens them up. So, um, that's basically how I make, uh, remove my makeup. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.